with a slow motion crew And we up in our growlings when people change but not us And we just chillin', kickin' it, kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon I know she got the good vibes when seasons change but when Hey, 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 everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lobo, the channel's called Zoo PF Visual Effects. Guys, this is a visual effects channel, but in 2020, it might morph into also a video game channel where I'll be showcasing you guys how I'm creating my video game. All right, that being said, I will still be putting tutorials out using After Effects and Element 3D. As you guys can see here, this is one of the tutorials that we'll be going through. This is another one right here, and this is another one right here. Also, what I want to do is also showcase to you guys things that we'll be creating in Blender. I know I've been out of the game for seven months. Wait, have I? Hmm. More like I've spent seven months learning new tricks and trades so that I can bring that back to you guys and show you guys what I've learned. Again, it's me always wanting to empower you guys to be in control of your own visual effects. So you don't always have to wait for people to show you things and you can go out there and create your own things. OK, that's what this whole channel is about. Learning from one another. Right. Moving on. The first tutorial that we'll be doing is this one right here. I'm going to showcase to you guys using blender which is a free open source 3d modeling software which is now really powerful so use it we're going to start from two cubes creating this right here so if i zoom into it you guys can see exactly what it looks like and it looks pretty cool right i think so all right so that's pretty much how it's going to be and we are definitely just going to start with those two to create this all right pretty cool right i think so too 
But more than that, I also left some of my 3D work out for people to purchase if they want to. I have way more than this, but I thought these would be a good start because I put the most time into these right here. So if we look at the ship right here, which is right here, and it's only $9.99, you get the ship and you get all the weapons that come with it. And this ship is also in this tutorial right here in Element 3D in After Effects. Pretty cool, right? I think so too. And you also have other things. So I really love these sci-fi buildings that you can use for your video game or any visual effects that you want to create. Super cool guys, super cool. And so I'm super excited about this whole entire thing right here. All right, moving on. I will make sure that none of my price go over 20 bucks. It'll always be $19.99 or just $9.99. But here's the best part. For you guys being subscribers, you guys get 50% off all of my 3d models as long as you're a subscriber okay so if you're interested leave comments down below so we can connect and i can give you a special code but i know you're here for the big thing you are here because you want to see how to create a video game with zero coding skill let's go to it right now all right, so right before we start, I'll be doing a whole bunch of cutscenes here and there because I want to make sure this video is not too long, but just going straight to the point so you guys can see that even you who has zero coding skill, you can put a video game like this by yourself. All right, that's the beauty of today's technology. Anyone can do it. The only thing that sucks is it's going to take a long time. <laughs> uh, or if you keep the video game short, it could be very quickly too. Also, not being able to code, um, the problems that I've encountered was there are a lot of things I wanted the video game to be able to do, but it can't do. And so I rely a lot on people who created the assets that I'm using to code specific things for those assets to do exactly what we wanted to do. Now, one thing to remember is um, asset creators have to sort of please the customers. And so if we give them something that we want them to work on, most of the time they will work on it so that they can have happy customers and we can return to them guys this whole entire game is created using third-party assets all right and the only asset that i created was the boat that you will see but other than that zero zero coding from me uh, even the 3d models were all made by third party the way i see it is simple i invest into people's assets and when this game goes on steam I get all that back and that's very important to me to invest into other artists who are far more talented in skills that I'm not because I'm looking at the big picture. The big picture is this game goes on Steam, I probably will sell it below 20 bucks. It might not even be 20 bucks, it might just be a $10 game and hopefully any capital that I make back goes back into my investment so that I can make more video games. That's the whole point of this. The challenge was can I do this? And the answer is absolutely yes. I spent 300 hours just creating 30% of my game so far. I still got 70%. So when we look at this whole entire UI here, it's confusing and it should be, and you should be confused because I was when I first clicked on it. But after 300 hours, I know exactly what I'm doing. And that's the whole point of learning, spending time, taking the time to make sure that you learn something new and cool. I'm using Unity 2019. 3.9 a lot of you might be asking is unity good five years ago i would say if you want to make something simple yeah but now if you want to make a triple a game yes it can definitely handle it okay unity is is high up there with unreal engine now for the longest time people use unreal engine because you could do simple stuff and you could do triple a stuff now unity can do the same thing but here's the major difference the major difference between the two is this unity goes straight to the point super easy to learn which means it has less tools but you can still get the job done but you are kind of limited by the tools that you only have unreal engine is really difficult to learn but it has so many tools to learn that once you understand all those tools you'll be able to create more but also what you really want out of it but here's the one thing you need to know too if you're a non-coder, it doesn't matter which engine you use, you'll be uh, logged down to not being able to code. And so you'll be at the mercy of whoever is creating those assets with the codes that you need to make your game come true. 
all right hopefully that makes sense but there are a whole bunch of assets out there with a whole bunch of talented people that specifically are spending days and nights creating assets for us to make video games and because they do this we can do this too cool now that that has been said let's look around really quick as you can see my whole entire video game is right here pretty much so far it's in one folder and when I open it I can open into a whole bunch of many of the folders rule number one make sure you have folders all right I learned the hard way I started creating something cool and then I got lost I didn't know what things were and then I had to restart because I'm an idiot <laughs> so be prepared to kind of like bang your head against the wall if you're not doing things properly so make sure you have folders all of my assets are right here so far I still have 70% um, of my assets that are in the asset store that I purchased I haven't downloaded them yet one thing that I've learned don't download all your assets that's a big no-no download the assets you need first and go from there super important okay so all of my stuff are right here so far that has, has allowed me to do 30 percent of the game so far and from there you just start putting everything together and once you put everything together it should look something like this let's click play and see what it looks like as we are here you guys can see that i am in the you know i would say an average of 70 frames per second at the sweet spot 1440p sometimes if i'm lucky i'll reach the 100 frames per second but that is only if i don't have a whole bunch of 3d models in the scene right now okay as i create my video game i am equally calibrating the game to make sure that i can see things and not slow myself down as i'm moving around okay <laughs> here's the boat that i created for you guys you will be able to use the keyboard but you'll also be able to use a uh, controller so i'm going to switch over to the control that i have here and here it is i just switched it and as i'm switching it you guys can see i'm hitting some pretty good friends right now here's the boat i created in uh blender right pretty cool pretty simple this is the boat that i came from and so the water looks pretty good all right everything else around me looks pretty good and you're going to see some uh a few frames drops and you're going to see some things disappear here and there why guys this is not the final product all right this is just what i have right here calibrated as i go and because i'm just trying to create things as i go so pretty cool the character feels pretty good walks pretty good jumps you can you know do this uh you can crouch if you want simple stuff that you'll find in any other games uh, the question that i got when i left my pictures on facebook was people were like hey this game's look triple a man how, how are you are you building a triple a game my answer is heck to the no this is not even triple a when they they a asked me that question i started laughing in my head because i was like no man this is not even triple a guys this is a game when it goes on steam i'll probably get graded a, a c plus or a b minus or even a c because it's not a triple a game this is a game that i wanted to see if i could create on my own all right and that's the whole point of doing this can you create a game by yourself the answer is absolutely yes all right but if it gets greater b and people like it that would make me happy too all right this game would definitely not be 20 bucks i'll probably be like 14.99 or even 9.99 i don't think i'll even go over that only because it's i don't know i don't think it's worth um more than 20 bucks to be honest with you i'll rely on the story to drive the characters and hopefully um players will like it but i know for a fact it's going to be graded at a c plus or a b and that's it all right so what can you do there'll be a specific places where you'll be able to just look around and just go hmm, i wonder if i can rock climb the wall uh poop there you go see you can rock climb the wall so that's pretty cool right so this is some of the stuff that you'll be able to do and now you're probably asking hey can i shoot guns absolutely this is a shooting uh, third person shooter okay here's what i'm talking about right here though because you're not a coder because you're not a coder you can't make things do exactly what you want all right and that's the problem right here uh also i i i suck at doing animations because if i could this character would be so much better if i could code i would code couple of lines to make sure that the character is always touching the rock and sometimes the character is not touching the rock and so you see i think now you're starting to understand the limitation of not being able to code but can you create something really cool like this absolutely so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this scene to go to the next one really quick 
All right, guys, here we are. Top of the mountain, very cool. Um, so if you look around, you know, it looks pretty cool. The ocean is infinite. Is it really? No, it's not. <laughs> um, just a couple of codes of lines to make the ocean look infinite. That's pretty much what it is. And you can tell this is not Tripoli because when you look down at the reflection of the water, it's it just looks okay, right? And that's it. I mean, that's pretty much what I was shooting for. Uh, but if you you could easily trick people and say this is a triple game look because it looks like one but i'm just going to be 100 percent flat out honest with you guys it's not i'm not using a high definition render pipeline i'm just using the no the normal pipeline and the trick is to use color correction and color grading to make it look this way that's it all right and they're using high definition assets to make everything look really nice all right so let's move around here and let's see what else we can do here so we've got a crouch and there will be specific sections where you will automatically be doing movements on your own all right i set a trigger right here to be able to do this so that's pretty much what i'm doing right here uh the scene starts right here and as you guys can see i'm already dipping in my frames rate only because i got birds flying so this will be my question for myself do i want birds to fly because if i do any types of animation i'm gonna be losing some frame rates but one thing that I've learned from uh, game developers, because I, I was talking to a lot of them online, and they were like, when you first start your game, pack your game with everything that you want. And don't care if you're dipping in frame rates. Because it's when you start to optimize that you will be taking things out. But they also um, encouraged me to optimize as I go along so that the optimization is easier at the end. And so that's what I've been doing right here. But guys, I just wanted to see blurs flying around these birds know exactly what they're doing i set things in motion so that they fly at a specific level and they land in specific spots they are pretty much ai birds they do exactly what i want them to do and they'll do it properly all right let's look at the weapons that we have here uh well first let's look around let's look around what do we got going on here all right we just have this scene right here that i set up and that will be part of uh, the whole entire game uh we'll see more dead soldiers all around the places but i just wanted to show you guys kind of what you'll see okay and every time there'll be triggers all around the game and those triggers will move the story along and there'll be voiceovers from me and from friends um, that will be voicing over this whole entire game which is really cool everybody's involved all right and everybody will get paid assuming the game does well weapons let's look at the weapons really quick so if you click select and we're looking at the weapons right here we have this and we have that all right so let's look at the weapons let's see how cool he looks man he looks so cool right he looks really cool i like it so let's shoot around and see what happens look at that everything well almost everything in the game will have a trigger where everything you shoot will be specific to what it is so wood is wood um and yep you'll be able to also switch uh emanation as you need to ground is ground rock is rock how dare you fly in front of me i will shoot you bird come here i'll shoot you come here come here come here um but you know wood is wood ground is ground i think we got a piece of metal right here too whoops so let me switch there you go there it is that's metal for you right here and so you'll be able to switch left and right you'll be able to zoom as well very cool uh, and yes you can also have grenades being shot from this specific gun right here it's a grenade launcher i will change the sound because it sounds really horrible right now and i also make sure that the grenade uh is shot much better than what it is right now um and if you move through the grass you can see that the grass sways as well all right and because i'm not building this in a high definition render pipeline i wanted it to give it a triple a look and a triple a feel all right the game will be driven by the story hopefully people will like it i know for a fact already that people are gonna say man this is the most horrible game i've ever played in my life but i only spend 10 bucks so i don't really care um and that's okay again i just want to see if i could do this and i can which means that you can too oh look at that the weather wasn't the sun over there last time yes it was why there's a full weather system these are really beautiful volumetric lights all right again i'm giving the illusion of a triple a but 
it does look triple a because it is actually using some triple a qualities assets all right the only thing that is not making a triple a is it's not built in a high definition render pipeline uh for those of you who don't know the differences in a high definition render pipeline you can do so much more to make the game look realistic and that's what it is that's the only difference but here it is right here so as we move forward we'll see the weather change uh, if you see your left corner um you have your you know stamina that will go down too uh, as you as the game goes along you'll be able to earn more stamina and your health will increase as well but uh super easy super cool to create all right and that's pretty much what i wanted to do i just wanted to make sure that people knew that they could do this too so again if we shoot the windows here there you go everything that is being shot has specific trigger so if we go here this is metal too and if we go right here uh this is brick so you'll have all that stuff super easy super cool it's those little tiny things that just makes it more immersive i guess you know uh here we go and here we are in this camp right here again just going through it i really love that the grass sways as i go through it it just makes the game look more immersive all right that's the trick here i just wanted to make the game Im immersive and again everything you shoot has a specific reaction all right so let's go up here am i dropping in frames no i'm still doing pretty good so as you guys can see i've optimized the game as i built things so i it would be less work so again pretty cool bullets are flying they're reacting with almost everything uh really cool where the system is coming down right here that looks pretty cool and of course there aren't any enemies i, I want this game to be based on making the ai very smart and very difficult um, and so you might be facing three soldiers who, who are going to give you one hell of a fight, you know, and those soldiers might have the same health that you have, but they're so smart that they, they'll wait for you to screw up for them to kill you. Uh, that's what I want the game to be, to be based upon. Very good AI, uh, but also it's a, it's a zombie game. And so you'll be encountering a lot of zombies and because I, I cannot code yet. I don't know how to put a gazillion zombies in a scene, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to put at least 50 to 60 zombies for you to fight in one scene. Uh, and all through the game, you'll see a whole bunch of zombies. And also you'll be seeing soldiers like you who are fighting you. The story is pretty good. And I hope that the story will be the, the thing that would be driving players to enjoy this game. Even though I know for a fact, it's just going to get graded a C plus or a B or B minus, you know, and it's totally cool. If it begins for 9.99, i don't think you'll complain much uh pretty cool right here as you guys can see the weather system changes and as it changes the sound system changes as well we are at a beautiful night time frame right now um, the question i'm asking myself is do i want to make it darker uh, so we have light right now so we can see pretty well but let's go into an area that has no light so if we go right here is it dark enough? Is it not dark enough? I don't know. Maybe I'll make it darker or maybe I won't. If I don't introduce any lights to any characters, I'll probably just keep it like this. Uh, but this is pretty cool, guys. So I'm going to pause it right here and I'm hoping that it's going to go through a rain system right here. All right, here's the weather system for you guys. Pretty cool. I really dig this weather system. As it's raining, as you guys can see, everything's being affected by the rain. The player has wetness, the ground has wetness. Really cool, let's move around so we can see the wetness a little bit better. The rocks have wetness, metal pole has wetness, trees have wetness, even uh, the birds have wetness. The ground looks pretty cool. You can tell it's, it's wet. Very cool. Still love to shoot my gun, so I'm gonna do that. Again, bringing some AAA assets into a non AAA pipeline just to give it that immersion. Could this look way better? Absolutely. If this was built in a uh, higher, uh, high definition rendered pipeline, everything would look twice as great. 
uh, but the reason why I kept it oh look at that the tent looking wet cool mattress cool the reason why I kept it non high definition render pipeline is because a lot of assets are not built uh, for high definition render pipeline and so oh, look at that everything's so wet so cool here you got holes in the ceiling so the rain passes through and so because of that if you do anything in higher definition render pipeline everything that you build has to be for it which means every every asset you create will not work in, with anything below that and so you know that's why uh, AAA games take a long time to create because most of the time they are creating all of the assets for that specific render pipeline and everything has to work properly but since I'm not a coder this to me looks great and I hope that you guys like it too because I really like it it just creates that immersion but I'm hoping that the story will drive the players who are playing the characters and they will enjoy it and again you know that's pretty much what I'm heading for here one man team trying my best alright guys that takes care of the weather system hopefully you like it well here we are right back at the start for some of you who are watching this, you might go, this is it, man, that sucks. And you know what? You're entitled to your own opinion. And if you know how to do this better than me, man, share with us what you know so we can learn from you before anyone else like me who just wanted to know if they could put a video game like this by themselves, guess what? It is possible in 2020. You have two very powerful engine software that will empower you to do this. All you have to do is invest into assets, learn the software, and put it together. This is it. This is so cool. I'm just me, and I was able to create this. This is so cool. It makes me so happy. I spent 300 hours plus putting this 30% stage of my game with a full weather system, with high definition uh, 3D models, with very nice assets all over the places. The illusion of a AAA is there, but is it built in a high definition render pipeline? Absolutely not. But guess what? It's possible. You can do it. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you guys want to see how I put this video game together, leave comments down below and I'm going to show you guys all the steps that I took to get there so that you know exactly what you can do to make this happen too. Okay. If you dig as usual, put a like or put a dislike if you don't dig subscribe to the channel help me grow the channel so that I can bring more of these awesome tutorials and now that my channel will also switch to a video game channel these very cool um, curation of my video game to you guys too I'm super stoked about this and I can't wait to see what 2020 has to offer I hope you guys are taking care of yourself during these very odd times but as I have told all my friends as long as you keep moving forward, it doesn't matter what happens. You are still successful and you will still enjoy life. Enjoy life with me. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more, let me know. For those of you who already subscribed to my channel, more tutorials are coming down the way for you. For those of you who want to see me show this game, how I put it together, leave some comments down below. And you know what, if you want me to see, uh, if you guys want me to show you the games that I play too, leave comments down below so I can show you guys some of the games that I play and we can turn this whole entire channel into a gaming channel too, uh, while I still do tutorials. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope you guys dig. Let's look at the sunset together. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that sunset. So beautiful. Look at that. I love it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, everybody. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I love you all. Goodbye. Until next time.